I invite Stephen Burns, accompanied by Brian Jones and Richard McGuigan, to share a few words in honour of his beloved wife, Constable Sarah Burns. Greeting, greetings, honored guests. I am the husband of the most beautiful and caring woman I have ever met. Sarah May Helen Burns was born in St. Andrews, Fife, Scotland, a Fifer and proud beyond belief of her heritage. She lived in Papua New Guinea for a short time, but then moved to Fredericton at the age of seven. She was a handful to her mom and dad, like any other teenager. In her young adult years, Sarah worked at a local craft brewery where we met and later fell in love. She wanted a family so badly, and for the next 19 years, she was the best wife, mother, business partner, chauffeur, nurse, and hockey mom a family could ever ask for. At the age of 35, while running our entire family and doing 20 hours a week minimum on the auxiliary for the Fredericton Police Force, she was determined to go back to school and get her degree in criminology. After graduating, she applied to attend the Atlantic Police Academy. When I think back now, I remember her biggest fear was having to leave her boys behind for about six months while she attended the academy in PEI. She was a phenomenal student, the course leader, and she graduated in 2015. Only one more hill to climb, she would say. In March of 2016, she reached her ultimate goal when she was sworn in as a City of Fredericton Police Officer, Regiment Number 401. I've said it a thousand times this week, she was, a, she was proud beyond her words to be a City of Fredericton police officer. She absolutely loved her job, and I can rem remember all too often driving in the car with her, all by just the two of us, and in mid-sentence she would just belt out, I love my job. Members, I would like to share some of Sarah's words with you and the extended support team that is here today from all over. I want you to know how much you all meant to her. I have heard the word guilt this week far, far too much, and I want each and every one of you to know that she is at peace and knows that you did everything you could to protect her. Don't burden yourself with the why, because you won't find the answer. When it's your time, it is your time. And never, never lay blame. We need to celebrate her life and focus on how we will help each other move forward. She knows that if given the chance, you would all trade places with her because that's who you are and that's the oath you took. A very good friend of mine shared a passage from the Bible with me and I think it says it all. It reads, greater love has no one than this, to lay, one lay down one's life for one's friends. A while back, one of Sarah's good friends was having a hard time, and she posted a message to her on Facebook. That message popped up in her memories yesterday. Sarah would want her friends at the Fredericton Police Force to hear that and hear that message. It goes like this. If you're alone, I'll be your shadow. If you want to cry, I will be your shoulder. If you want a hug, I'll be your pillow. If you need to be happy, I will be your smile. But any time you need a friend, I'll just be me. This week has been tough and tragic for everyone, but the support has been overwhelming to say the least. 
from the memorial at the police station to the total strangers at the airport offering free transportation. Words cannot express our family's gratitude. I always knew how well Sarah was respected and hearing this week the countless stories of how diligent and conscientious she was have been so comforting. Sarah lived by these honest and simple rules. Do it right or don't do it at all. Always follow the rules. Others always come first. Humility is strength. Always be private. Never be showy and always be graceful. Let your smile be your guide and use kind words and soft hands. Sarah would insist that I mention her fallen brother and hero, Rob Costello, who stood bravely with her to protect our community on that day. To the civilians, Bobby Lee Wright and Donald Adam Robichaux, she would not want them to be forgotten because their, families, their family and friends are grieving no less and their lives are just as important. Sarah has always been my hero and my angel, but now she is a hero and an angel for a community, a province, and a nation. Sarah had the most amazing smile that would light up a room. Sarah was the most private person I have or ever will meet. Sarah lived life to the fullest. She loved to travel. She loved her technology, and she loved shopping online. In fact, she knew the delivery man on a first name basis. She was born to take care of people. I used to joke with her when one of the kids would be sick and home from school, and in my eyes, they were healthy as horses. I would say, I think they loved getting sick. And who would want to go back to school when you're, you're being treated like a king by your mom? Her favorite color was yellow. She loved photography. She loved dragonflies. Her puppies, Coco and Murphy. And her horse, Grimsby. Mudgy and Bampa. You guided her through her entire life, and always remember, she will always be your little girl. You were her conscience and her truth. Rory and Emma, you were both her diamonds in the rough. She will continue to polish you every chance she gets. Words cannot express how in love I was with her. She truly was my best friend, and I was her best friend. A good friend said to me the other day that she had me hook, line, and sinker from day one. No other woman ever turned my head like she did. I know I told you every day how beautiful you are and how much I loved you to the point where you would look at me and say, you're crazy, Stephen Burns. That will never change. Sarah loved many things, but most of all, she loved her family and especially being a mother. Duncan, Malcolm, and Anderson, you need to know that your mom loved each of you unconditionally and she will watch over you forever. You need to know she was a hero and she will be remembered forever by us, our friends, this community, and this great country. Boys, your papa found this online and I think it says it all and I would like to close by reading this to you. Your mother is always with you. She's the whisper of the leaves as you walk down the street. She's the smell of certain foods you remember, flowers you pick, the fragrance of life itself. She's the cool hand on your brow when you're not feeling well. She's your breath in the air on a cold winter's day. She's the sound of the rain that lulls you to sleep, the colors of a rainbow. She's a Christmas morning. Your mother lives inside your laughter. She's the place you came from. Your first home. And she's the map you follow with every step you take. She's your first love, your first friend, even your first enemy. But nothing on earth can separate you. Not time, not space, not even death. Thank you.